Hi, this is Emily from Minute Earth. Over the ages, the million or so rocks that make up the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter have sent chunks of space debris large and small crashing into Earth. And after analyzing a lot of these meteorites, we've discovered something really weird. More than a third of them have the same chemical signature, suggesting that they've broken off from a single asteroid. By using special telescopes to look at the mineral makeup of asteroids, we think we've identified the culprit, known as Hebe. Hebe is pretty big compared to other asteroids in the asteroid belt, but it still only makes up a tiny fraction of the total mass. And it's been in lots of meteoroid-making collisions, including one so violent that it might have broken off a huge chunk of rock called Gebe. But lots of other asteroids have also been in lots of wrecks. Instead, Hebe owes its unique status to its location at the edge of an empty band in the asteroid belt. As asteroids on either side of this band orbit the Sun, they pass Jupiter and get a little extra gravitational pull. But that pull comes at a different place with each orbit, so it kind of just averages out over time. But any rock that finds itself inside the empty band orbits the Sun exactly three times faster than Jupiter does, which brings it closest to Jupiter at precisely the same two places in its orbit, over and over and over and over and over and over again. This so-called orbital resonance distorts the shape of the asteroid's orbit, and eventually it destabilizes into a potentially Earth-crossing path. Hebe feeds more space rocks into Jupiter's reach than any other asteroid, thereby sending more rocks rocketing toward us than anything else. Fortunately, most of them miss us, like the one with 100,000 times more destructive power than the Hiroshima bomb, which flew by us in 2012, just 20 moon distances away. But we weren't so lucky in 1976, when a boulder the size of a Toyota Camry crashed into a field in northern China. Or in 1868, when 10 tons of pea-sized meteorites peppered northeastern Poland. Scientists are researching ways that we could divert a really big one if it were on a collision course with Earth. But our anti-Armageddon plan is still decades away from realization. So there's still time for a mega-meteorite to turn us into dinosaurs. It's enough to give you the heebie-jeebies. Hi guys, this video is sponsored by the online learning community Skillshare. More about them in a second, but first I want to let you know about a new book by our friend Jorge Cham, who did the gorgeous illustrations for this video. The book is called We Have No Idea, and in it, Jorge and physicist Daniel Whiteson explore some of the biggest mysteries about our universe, like this one. Earth is constantly getting hit by incredibly high energy particles, but no one has any clue where they're coming from, or even what kind of cosmic event could be producing them. And if you want to learn how to make comics like Jorge's, you should check out Skillshare. Skillshare features more than 15,000 how-to classes from industry experts, like how to create web comics with the creator of Sarah's Scribbles, and how to do modern marketing with Seth Godin. The first 500 Men at Earth viewers can get a free two-month trial with Skillshare by clicking the link in the description box below. Thanks, Skillshare!